Welcome back to another episode of the Building Science Crash Course. Today's episode, episode number seven, flashing. Flashing, as we mentioned last time, is the answer to the problem of negative lapping. When you've got a part of your building that can't help but try and bring water in, such as a window, a deck ledger attachment, a roof wall intersection, all these tricky spots where water would really, really like to go in, we need to pay particular attention to it in the form of something we call flashing. And that's just, you know, our speak for uh, a kind of detail that's made to be extra super duper good at keeping water out. The most common one you'll see is head flashing, which is the flashing that you put on top of a window that would otherwise be a location where just loads of water would come in. So I wanted to take a look at an ideal example of head flashing. It would be made out of bent metal so that it's nice and resilient. Uh, it would have a very long tail, a few inches long at least, to be able to positively lap uh, behind uh, the building material that it's connecting to. It would have a five to 10 degree slope to promote water to pour away from the building. It would have a drip edge, which would promote the drips and drops to just, just kick away from the building a little bit because you don't want water coming into the building. That's why we're doing this. It would also have a breather gap, a little physical separation between the component that it's trying to protect from the rain. Because if you don't have that gap, what ends up happening is that water can actually wick back up there, that's no good. You also want to finish off these flashing details with what are called end dams, literally just blocks of material, upturned metal or uh, however you do at the end of this long section of flashing to prevent wind driven water from you know sliding off the edge of your flashing. You don't want that. It ends up getting behind your siding, for example. It is worth obsessing about flashing because when flashing details go wrong, they allow for a tremendous amount of damage to get done to the building. No good. It's super important to sweat these details, make sure they're bomb proof if they can be, bulletproof ideally, because ultimately water is smarter than all of us and will destroy everything we love. All right, that's it for now. We'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>